Hey there guys, Ben here from Corner Flag Games and welcome back to episode number 33 of the Hibernian Road to Glory career mode. So just like every other episode guys, there will be four games in today's episode, two simulated and two played. And we'll quickly now jump across to the season calendar to find out what games we have on offer for the episode. So the first one will be a home game against St. Mirren in the league. And I'm thinking I might play that one. Uh, the second game also comes up as St. Gallen in the Europa League group stages. I'm thinking I might sim that one, give the boys a bit of a break and a bit of a run, considering we need some points in the league to catch Celtic and Rangers. And then we've got a game against Hamilton away in the league. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna play that one too. And fourth and final game will be against Kilmarnock at home in the league as well. So let's tinker with the squads, work out who we've got going, and I will see you at, before the start of the next game. So guys, here we are in our first game of the episode, and it is a home game against St. Mirren in the league. So guys, without further ado, let's get on with this game. So here we are, guys, in today's first game, and it is the boys of Hibernian facing off against St. Mirren. So lads, here is the Hibernian lineup. It is Daniel Margushi in goal, a back four of Sukasev, Ambrose, Hanlon, and Vojica. Two holding midfielders in Geraldo and Steven Ugarkovic. Uh, three up front with a Yempong, Dennis Moores, and Daryl Horgan, and Tony Watt up front as the striker. Here is the St. Mirren lineup. It's Sabanis in goal, a back four of McGinn, Zhao Ming, Baird and Alongi. A diamond midfield in McGinn, Flynn, McShane and Smith. And two up front with Cook and Mullen. And it will be the boys of Hibernian to get things underway in this game. So we are running with a backup brigade as you would have noticed by now in today's game. We are going to run the first team out later on against St. Gallen. And as we say that, Vujica springs on down the line for Daryl Horgan, launches it across. It's not a great one, Xiaoming Mi tries to control it in the box and does only okay so there. Tony Watt tries to knock one down, but that will go out for a throw in. Tries to spring one on down the line for Thomas e. Yengpong. Can we get a man running into the box? We do! Lays one back for Steven Ugarkovic and it takes a rebound and Sabanis sort of puts it away. Out of danger as they throw one back into the mixer. Giraldo gets a head on it and it falls all the way to Yangpong who takes a knock on. He does well to manage to keep possession here. Can we lay one back? We do! We talk it! Oh! And he smashes it at Sabanis and Sabanis flicks it on over. Dennis Moores did well on that one. As you can see here by it, we just, it's that low cross in. Dennis Moores wrapped his left boot around it but Sabanis is equal to it. Oh, we're absolutely done in the back line here. Cook is going to come barreling forward. Do we get any men f men back? They play around with it, and Magush dives late. That is a shocking attempt on goal, but even poorer defending. Here's the strike. We almost nearly clean him up on the way through. All the, all the guys are just looking at it like it's just meant to happen like that. Oh, that is so close. We find that little bit of trickery. Can we find that go-ahead goal? That is Ambrose coming forward now. Finding his man in Steven Ugarkovic. Can we find Dennis Moores? We do. Can he line one up? He does. And he's just grazed it past the frigging upright. Oh, that is so nearly close. Bangs went on his left. He's come close. He hasn't scored in a while. But that is narrow margins. Yes, we do. Ambrose. Back into Sukasev, the young lad. Playing very well since coming into the backup brigade. Tony Watt tries to bit of trickery himself. Can he hold this one up? He does. Gives it back to himself. Takes the strike and he hits the back of the net. Well, ladies and gents, can you ever, will you ever see an assist to yourself like that ever again? He hasn't scored too many. He tries to flick in a ball here all the way to Steven Yagarkovic, but he's like, screw it, I'll take it on my own instead as he gets his own assist. And he just smashes that one. He hasn't scored many. But he's buried that one into the back of the net just before the halftime break. And the goal does come to Tony Watt. It's his first goal in the Scottish Prem. That is not good. And it will be St. Mirren to kick things off. Considering we are quite a ways into the season now. Nearly halfway through the season. And our backup striker has only scored one goal 
that that would you would you think that would be grounds for you know contract negotiations or something? We got Sukasev down the line now. Can we spring one back? We do. There it is. It's Dennis Moore's again. Sabane is his best friend at the moment. We'll get ourselves the corner. We'll take it straight away off Geraldo's face. Wow. We went for the spectacular, but there it is, ladies and gents. Only the one to speak of going into the halftime break. We've been there, sort of. That man there, Tony Watt, giving us the goal that puts us ahead at the 45-minute break. And at the halftime break, it is a Bernie and one, St. Mirren nil. So, ladies and gents, here are the match facts for the first half against St. Mirren. For us, it's one goal, eight shots, three on target with a shooting accuracy of 37%. To St. Mirren's, zero goals, one shot, none on target with a shooting accuracy of a big fat duck. We are beating them in the passing accuracy stakes too, with 90% to us, which is relatively high. And they're 87% and killing them in the possession. This is our game to lose from here on out with 63% to their 37%. So guys, without further ado, we're just going to smash straight on with this second half. And we are back now with the start of the second half. We have made a substitution. Dennis Moore's coming into this game relatively tired. So we've swapped him out in the central attacking midfield slot for Young Mallon. Oh, God, here we go. Ambrose, get that one clear. Tony Watt, Mallon. Oh, it sprays a beautiful ball. It's a majestic ball. Horgan. Oh, my God. What a terrible cross. And he end pumps picked it up. And he's missed it from point blank range. What the good is going on? We managed to pull it back. And that is the perfect space for a goal. And Yang Pong has scuffed it. Let me go straight through the middle here, Geraldo. Mallon does well to get past his man. Can we go wide here in Ivan Vujica? We do. I see somebody lurking at the back stick. And it's Yen Pong. He's picked it out. Two men going up for the header there. And he's made up for his lack of concentration in front of goal before with finally a goal. So here it is. Horgan elects to go out wide to Ivan Vojeta. It's a great lofted ball in. And we had Tony Wan and Yen Pong both going for that header. But it is Yen Pong's in the end coming from behind. And there it is. A perfect strike. And straight past Sabanus. And the goal now comes to Thomas Yen Pong. It's his third one for this season. So we'll get... Back into this second half. 61 minutes played and St. Mirren look like they're starting to give away some cheap possession if we just get on a bit of more of an aggressive press. We've got the squad to be able to do it. Through to Cook. Mullen waiting for that ball. Oh, and they've split the defense. What are we going to do? Oh, my gosh. Well done, son. He saved our skin there. But, ladies and gents, that will do us for this game against St. Mirren. So we've absolutely blazed it in the end with a comfortable scoreline of two goals. Should have been a hell of a lot more than that. And at the end of 90 minutes, it does finish. Hibernian 2, St. Mirren 0. So ladies and gents, here are our match facts against St. Mirren. So for us, it is two goals, 10 shots, 4 on target with a shooting accuracy of 40%. Two St. Mirrens, 0 goals, 3 shots, 2 on target with a shooting accuracy of 66%. We did lose out on the passing accuracy battle in the end with 84% to us and 85% to St. Mirren. And they did claw back some of the possession with 57% lying to us and the other 43% to St. Mirren. Okay, guys, so a little bit of positive news. Um, that left winger that we did have for a while, Osvaldo Rosalvo. Yeah, remember him? He's finally returning from injury, so he's coming back into the... Uh, training sessions now so it'll be good to see him back out on the pitch again okay guys so moving now into today's second game of the episode and we are away to St Gallen in the group stages of the Europa League and we are going to simulate this one uh, so we will have the full first team as you can see on the right hand side there so they lost 1-0 against us 2-0 against St Etienne and 3-1 against Atalanta so we're just going to jump straight in through this one and it is a 1-0 win, with the only goal coming to Blessing in the 39th minute. Something that's rather annoying, though, is that Dimi Petrados got subbed by the looks of things uh, at the 46th minute. Okay, guys, so here we are now with today's third game of the episode, and the second played one. We are away to Hamilton in the league. So, guys, without further ado, let's get into it. 
Alrighty guys, so here it is. We move into our second played game of today's episode and it is Hamilton facing off against us, the Burnian. Okay, so here is the Hamilton lineup. It's Woods in goal, five in the back line with Gordon McMahon, Tashembi, Sykes and Sower. Tuau, Robson and Monoulis are the midfielders with Chao Zhang and Bothheim as the strikers. And as for the Hibernian lineup, it is Margush in goal, a back four of Sukasev, Ambrose, Hanlon and Boyitsa. Geraldo and Yugarkovic will make up our defensive midfield with Horgan, Moores and Yempong in the higher midfield and Tony Watt as the striker. And with all that said, ladies and gents, it will be Hamilton to kick things off for this game. I don't remember the last time we played Hamilton in an actual game. That's sort of why I've chosen a couple of different teams to physically play against in this episode. So teams like St. Mirren and Hamilton, who I can't remember the last time I actually played physically, if I ever did, or if I actually ever have, I uh, figured we'd give them uh, a run instead. So a ball straight through from Steven Yugarkovic through to Tony Watt. Takes it on the back foot. He's going to drag it on the inside. Tries an early strike, but Woods has got his hands clean on that one. And Geraldo winning out the header there. Can Horgan get this one all the way across to Thomas Yengpong, a man in quite a bit of form at the moment. And he does, and he gets one straight on to Ivan Vujica. Drags one into an unmarked man in the box, and he's flicked the header over. Is that man Tony Watt? Can he do two in two? Is it him? Is it? Oi! Is it going to be him? It is! It is Tony Watt! So from someone who hasn't scored all season, he's now scored two in two. It's a great overlapping run by Ivan Vujica. It's a great cross two to pick him out. And that lofted lobby header straight over the Hamilton keeper. And the goal does come to Tony Watt. It's his second now in the Scottish Prem. And Hamilton, after about 10 minutes, will get things back underway. We've started off this one. No holds bar. And the backup brigade are really showing that they can do the job better than the first team at the moment. Which is quite scary considering the amount of class we've got between both sides. A Yenpong now to take the throw in. And we need some players to move here. It's found Dennis Moores. What's his cross like? It's decent. It's a swinger. Oh, and the head is missed by Tony Watt. Wow, I didn't think that ball was ever going to get to him. Here we go. Hamilton to take their corner right before the edge of the halftime break. This is generally where we tend to concede because of the AI. And Sykes puts that one straight over the bar. And we back right off the header for some reason. And they win themselves possession. Bosheim gets it. But that will do us, ladies and gents, for the first half. So, again, not as, uh, as dominating as I... Would have liked, especially in these two games. But that man there, Tony Watt, does put one away. He's a second goal in two games now. And as the boys roll into the sheds for the halftime break, it is Hamilton nil, the Burnian one. Having a look at our match facts for this game so far. So for Hamilton, they are at zero goals, two shots, none on target with the shooting accuracy of a big fat duck. Two Hibernians, one goal, five shots, two on target with the shooting accuracy of 40%. We are quite low on the passing accuracy with 79% to Hamilton's 82%. And we are just leading the possession battle with 54% to 46%. So guys, without further ado, we're going to jump straight into this second half. So Tony Watt will kick things off for the lads of Hibernian. So looking to be a bit more clinical and a bit more dominative. Diminutive? Looking to dominate a bit more in this second half. So it is Sukasev out wide. He's going to have to stop and pull it back, though. Can we find a man in the middle? We do, sort of. There were men running everywhere. I don't know what the hell was going on, though. Dennis Moores finding some space out wide for Sukasev. We're just going to dink one in over the top to Daryl Horgan. What's he got in his locker lately? Not much. There's the cross. Nobody there! And it is an absolute goal! Tony Watt manages to bring himself back on side at the very last minute. And it just the cross just falls straight to his feet and he just smashes it into the net. So here it is on the replay. Horgan fake shots it and turns it round. There's his cross. It loops all the way in straight onto the foot of Tony Watt. And he's just absolutely popped that one home into the back of the net. 
And the goal does come to Tony Watt. It's three goals now. A brace in this one. And three goals in the prior three games. What an absolute legend. But I think we might give Shaw a run today as well. If I can remember to put him on at a decent time. Botham, straight through to Chow Zeng. Here they come on the counter attack. They've played one through. We can't pick that up. Magush. Play it back. Play it safe. And there's nobody there in our midfield. And it is Young Shaw, who's up top by himself. He's just checked in. Can we flick that one in over the top to find Daryl Horgan? We do. He's on a bit of spent leg, though. Can we pop this one straight through? It is Shaw. Lines one up. Oh, and he took it. Just dragged it the wrong way. Didn't exactly need to score. Take a shot then for Shaw to make a run. And he sort of did. Drops it back. Steven Yugarkovich from range. And it is a poor effort. And ladies and gentlemen, that will do us for our 90 minutes against Hamilton Academical. Uh, look, not a strong showing as I would have liked. A comfortable win, but that with Tony Watt doing all the work. But still, something, something's not right. Something doesn't feel right. And at the end of 90 minutes, it finishes up. Hamilton nil, Hibernian 2. Okay, guys, so here are the match facts and how we rounded out our game against Hamilton. So for them, it was zero goals, two shots, none on target with a shooting accuracy of a big fat duck. Two Hibernians, two goals, ten shots, six on target with a shooting accuracy of 60%. We did end up beating out on the passing accuracy, rising it up a little bit higher to 82%, rather respectable to Hamilton, 76%. And we did hold the bulk of the possession for the majority of the game, with 58% coming to us, 42% to Hamilton. Okay, guys, so moving into today's final game of the episode, we are at home to Kilmarnock in the league, so we will be running out the backup brigade in this fixture due to our next game being in the Europa League, and we want the first team to be fit and firing for that. So we are just going to smash straight through this game, and oh my bloody well lord, Tony Watt gets himself a brace. So that is now five goals in three games Tony Watt has scored after not scoring all season, but we run out a convincing victory with another goal for Yempong and Horgan as well. 4-0 against Kilmana. What a way to end out this episode. Okay, guys, so that about wraps up today's episode. When we return in our next episode, we will be facing back in the Europa League, St. Etienne, for our away leg in the group stages. So be sure to tune in next time for that one. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and leave your comments and feedback down below. Don't forget to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already, and tick the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. For all those that aren't aware, please jump on and join in all the fun and in all the banter on the official Quantum Flag Games Discord server. Links will be on screen and in the description below. And for all those that aren't aware as well, we are doing two live stream series at the moment. One with Hamburg and the other one with Paris SC. Both are very different career modes. One is a subscriber based career mode and the other one is a YSL style career mode. So make sure that you are following on my Twitch channel. The link for that will be on screen right now. And make sure you tick the notification bell and subscribe on the YouTube side to make sure to get the notifications for when I go live on both those platforms. And I'll be back with the next episode of the Hibernian Road to Glory career mode soon. Oh yeah, everybody now.